Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we are in our studios in downtown Lansing, actually, which these days seems a little like foreign territory because we don't get in them all that often. Uh, but we are here, and we are happy with uh, with a couple for a couple of reasons to have the uh, president and CEO, uh, Vicki Hamilton Allen of the uh, Habitat for Humanity Capital Region with us. And uh, Vicki, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on. Oh, thanks. It's nice that you've invited me. Well, uh, you have an important mission, and I think it's certainly one that needs to be shared and a voice that needs to be shared. And we're going to talk about how we're going to help you do that soon. But let's let's talk about Habitat for Humanity first, and then we're going to get into uh, Vicki and find out your career path to get here. Sure. Well, Habitat for Humanity delivers affordable housing solutions to uh, economically challenged individuals in our community. We work with low to moderate income folks and we create safe, affordable housing. And that's either creating home ownership opportunities with access to equitable lending, or it is repairing an existing home where folks don't have the funds to be able to fix it themselves. And we want to make sure they stay safe, stay safe in their, stay, stay safe in their homes. <laughs> Stay safe. And boy, that's the call of the day, isn't it? I mean, with COVID-19 going on. So uh, so let me ask you that. Capital Region, by the way, how far is your service area? The service area we cover is Ingham and Eaton counties whole. Uh, so it's kind of an interesting mix because we're, we're, we have the duality of urban core and the rural sprawl. Then tell me what you're doing in Africa. Nothing this year, Chris, but you know, I do take a group of people each year across the globe to be able to build houses in, um, in, in very poor communities. And that's a point of pride for me. So thanks for bringing that up. Well, you know, it's interesting because some of the stories are just incredible. Uh, I remember hearing one about building a home for a grandmother who was raising an incredible number of people. Yes, right. yes, her name was Consolata, 69-year-old widowed grandmother who had polio, um, who crawled from place to place because they don't have firm sort of surfaces to be able to have wheelchairs or walkers. And it was um, gut-wrenching. She had 10 children of her own that all um, passed away due to the HIV pandemic there. And um, she had her orphaned grandchildren. She had raised uh, four in the home and she's expected to help raise the others as they kind of come up through the, through the family. Well, for those of us who are suffering through COVID-19 and doing without our restaurants, that's not a bad story to share. It's not as bad as we think. Vicki, let's talk about you a little bit and your career choice. Okay. I, um, you know, nonprofit work was not my uh, forte when I was looking for a career, but um, I am originally Canadian and uh, moved to Britain after I finished my studies. And then I lived there for 18 years. So um, what that did was it rounded out my studies. But when I moved to the US, I came here and I was reluctant to just apply anywhere. I migrated to brands that I trusted. And so uh, moving to a new country is a little uh, terrorizing and um, when you when you move towards brands that you trust you feel a little bit of confidence so my first port of call in the US was the Red Cross uh, the American Red Cross and within a year and a half I had uh, some leadership at Habitat for Humanity who invited me in to throw my hat in the arena when they were looking for a new executive director and that was almost seven years ago and I've been in that position ever since well, and, and let's talk, you know, I never noticed your Canadian uh, influence till I heard you just say uh, oat, right? So, so I did pick that up. I played a little hockey in Canada and you heard a lot of that. Um, so so let's, let's talk a little bit about how things are happening now because you guys were incredibly busy and now COVID-19 strikes. Can you even get work crews together and help with sites and do things? Oh, thanks for asking that question, Chris. You know, what we do have is uh, an exceptional rising number of those in need. And what we have is a limited workforce because we can't mobilize the volunteers like we did. And we have started to remobilize volunteers, but six at a time, socially distanced, 
with masks, which makes it, makes it very difficult on a build site to be able to work side by side but apart. Many tasks force you to be closer together. So it becomes a challenge. And so many of those tasks we were looking at, we've had to subcontract um, because we need skilled labor, people who know what they're doing, who aren't going to fumble and, and cause unnecessary contact. And so safety is our primary concern always, but even more so now with COVID because of the layers of additional requirements. Well, um, Vicki, I think one of the things we wanted to talk about here today was what, what you're going to do for this network. You've been doing wonderful things in the community with your volunteers and your staff, and now you're going to kind of spread the word, which is really important, I think, and you're going to be joining this network, hosting a show called Beyond the Mission. Give us 30 seconds on what that's going to be about. Well, as a business graduate, I feel that nonprofits are often focused on the mission, and I want to start speaking about the business principles and practices that take place behind the mission so that people understand what makes for a sustainable, viable, relevant nonprofit in our communities. That's a, a very interesting perspective because I've always said it's a bad it's a bad parasite that kills its host, and so many nonprofits will just keep asking and asking and asking, same amounts every year, no change. And this is looking at sustainability, which I think has to be what we're looking at in the future, right? Absolutely. And solid business practices and what we can do to have sustainability and growth strategies and making a difference. Well, uh, Vicki Hamilton Allen, uh, CEO and President of Habitat for Humanity Capital uh, Region. We're going to be back in a few minutes, I think, with the subsequent and, and start your new show for you. Thanks for being with us on the Michigan Business Beat. On the Michigan Business Network, I'm Chris Holman. We'll be right back.